There was a time in a world of fairy and fantasy that a man named Geoffrey was a confirmed bachelor for years. He was popular and loved the ladies, but really, he never seemed to fall in love with anyone head over heels. The story begins on the warmer and more cheerful day where he lies in the veranda of the house that is located by beautiful blue water of the lake, and he suddenly meets a beautiful lawyer named Amara, who is fighting for the rights of the magical creatures. From the moment they met, Jeffrey was smitten. Since the first time the two got acquainted, Jeffrey fell in love. But in Amara's case, she had some doubts about love. We never really discussed marriage when we were dating, she said jokingly. Jeffrey sat down, and planning to add some variety into their relationship, he stunned her one evening with a grand proposal. I kneeled for what felt like a very long time, he joked. I had to get up and say, I am going to throw my hip out. With the days turned to months, their time was as lovely as the fairy tales, and had their romantic walks that led them to such wonderful places like the Grand Castle of Venice, where they had their wedding, wearing wedding attire made of moonlight and dreams for Amara and Geoffrey. They never imagined to have children, but, in an unexpected way, in a magical way, they were expecting twins, a boy and a girl. One fine weekend when they were at home receiving their twins, Jeffrey woke up with the most absurd whim in his head. Georgina representing change of personality, change of character to a glamorous one, was the new character he was going to create. Taking his wand and a sifting glitter, Jeffrey turned into Georgina and rocked the beautiful gown and high heels. The change made him develop a ridiculous facet within him. Imagine that. I can look this fabulous, he laughed as he spun round in front of a mirror. In real life, as Georgina, he went to most social functions with Amara, and when he did, he was jovial, happy, and a clown to every one of their friends. He was once walking on a glamorous gala, and he accidentally fell by his gown. Appears I am not the only one with problems with the clothes, he said, in the midst of the laughter from the audience. Their escapades went on with, Georgina went out on magical dates with Amara, including a boat ride at night where she spun him around and the two of them burst into laughter. They became quite a sight. If there is no fun in causing trouble, then what is the use? Amara teased. The relationship between these two characters became even stronger in everything that they passed through. Girl's favorite costume party was the one that time that Georgina wore a pretty floral dress like Amara's dress. Great minds think alike. Blushing and winking at him, they danced through the night, and they looked perfect as they felt people following their eyes. For fun, Jeffrey was changed into Georgina by funny mishaps and delightful blunders. He learned that it's possible to be an honest person, and that true love is even better when it is served with humor. They also altered the time of their operations, and each new period was even more interesting than the previous one. On their 10th anniversary, Georgina's plan was a surprise under the stars. They drank booze and made speeches about their story. I can see that you've really knocked my socks off, Amara said that, laughing and dancing till the morning broke. And so Jeffrey and Amara, in their new otherworldly forms, took the romance, the comedy, and the gender bender where it needed to go, and gave the audience the idea that at the base of the grandest adventures, it's actually fun to start from. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.